Hey guys, if you're really enjoying these commentary videos with Andrew and myself, feel free to let us know below. Uh, leave us a comment, let us know you're here, let us know if you really enjoy them, if you prefer music. It's totally up to you. I mean, it's totally up to you guys. As a quick side note, um, after watching the video, I quickly realized that my deadlifts at starting at like 315, um, quite a few of them, and at 405, quite a few of them were not up to par. Um, that's honestly kind of the benefit and disadvantage and advantage of filming all your workouts, right? And then putting it up to the public to watch is you kind of open yourself up for the fact of, wow, that's a crappy deadlift. Like, that's a crappy form. You're not even doing it right. I've always somewhat struggled um, with opening up on deadlifts when it comes to trying to move as fast as I can. I know that. I've tried to work on it. Um, and watching this video lets me know, hey, I still got to continue to work on it. And that's always the goal, right? We're always trying to improve. So feel free to comment. Let me know below. That's the crappiest deadlift standard I've ever seen. And you're right. You're right. Just want to say it. Um, when you put out full workout videos like this, um, it's the good, bad, and the ugly, right? You put out everything. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's not, and sometimes it doesn't meet standard. And that's the beauty of putting out all the workouts. So I love putting out full workouts, even when they're not to standard. To me, it shows the human nature of us, right? Like just because we're elite level or just because we're t top tier level when it comes across, it doesn't mean we don't make mistakes or don't meet a standard sometimes. That happens. That's just life. Let's get back to it. Andrew and I are gonna do some commentary on the workout. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks again. So you guys really like the commentary, so we're gonna try and do it again. I think Andrew and I really liked it because we can banter back and forth about how much our, our form sucks or how much of their person looks terrible at a movement. Hey, real quickly and briefly, tell us where we're at with programming. Uh, programming, I mean, the content's there. We're just waiting for our website, essentially, to finish up, and then away we go, so. Hoping to kick the new year, new year off really soon here and get you guys uh, rolling with us and having some fun with us. So yeah, probably a week. Yeah, which will be right in time. I think the if you guys are trying to compete, the Atlantic uh, Mid Atlantic qualifier will be around that time too, which we're gonna put into some of our stuff. So if you guys are planning on doing that, that'll already be in there. So yeah, it's kind of a good time. We've already been kind of doing all the qualifiers anyways. Yeah, in I the mean, mornings, yeah. It's it's like we've talked about. It's good to compare yourself yeah, and see yeah, what sure. you're not good at, and it's good it comes out of the comes out of a hopper and you don't know what's coming out and you can't change it. And then if you guys are prepping for the open, it's a great way to practice for that. Exactly. So I mean, if you guys are trying to like videotape your stuff, like now is the time to work the kinks out so you don't have any problems later. Cool, yeah, so you can expect to be doing probably most of the qualifiers. We might not have everyone do all of them, yeah. especially if they're like overlapping at some point. Yeah. But we probably won't even have you guys do the open though. No. Open workouts are overrated. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the open. Quick question. Now that we have a blue screen, a crappy blue screen behind us, what kind of background do you want to be in for this clip? Like some type of Batman scene. That'd be legit. Wow, that's re that's really specific. A <laughs> Batman. Why I, thought of that. I just want to be Batman. I'll make sure to put us in Gotham. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna get go. We're gonna get going. Away we go. So and we are off. Jake go. is notoriously not has not been a great deadlifter. We've actually got a lot better at it uh, in the last year. I would even say so. Um, today we had. Uh, ascending ladder deadlift. So we went Diane, so 2159, mm -hmm. deadlift 225, regular kipping handstand push ups, right into uh, 1512 9 of a heavier deadlift. We went 315 and ring muscle ups, finishing with 12 9, or 963, sorry, 963, heavier deadlift yet 405, and then a higher deficit kipping handstand push up 8 inches. 8 inches. Uh, which the whole thing. And was it, what was the time cap? 18 minutes, which I thought was appropriate. I, thought, I think that's a good a good appropriate time for this. Uh, we both finished under the cap, which, I mean, sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. So what would you say for, like for instance, obviously, is Ellie doing, so Ellie's the one, just in case they want to Oh, know, here's Ellie's a great example. So in the, in the film right now, you can see Ellie, she's a team game athlete. She actually did. Um, she's the third one from the. Yeah. She's the only girl. That's Blake. Yeah, because Blake's next to yeah. her. So she actually did the workout as prescribed. The difference was her muscle up number was down to twelve nine six, not fifteen twelve nine. So was her deadlift weight the same as like RX females? Pretty close. Yeah, um, she went 150, 180, 210. Okay. Um, which is actually five pounds more than the open workout from eighteen point four last year, where they finished at. So oh, okay. We, we finished at three fifteen. They finished at uh, 205. So she was pretty close to just doing 
female RX, like Catherine David's yeah. daughter kind of weight. Okay. Pretty close. Okay. Yeah, pretty and then close. what did her sister do? Same like, exact thing. Same exact thing. Okay, yeah. so you guys can't, you can actually see Olivia right in there. She's kind of walked out, but she's not going to be on screen very yeah. often. Um, give you an example, like the ring muscle ups for some of you guys are like, well, I don't know, like, should I be doing big sets? The girls did threes and fours. Like, uh, I think Olivia did all threes. Ellie had a few sets of fours in there, maybe in the beginning, but other than that, she pretty much stuck to threes, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, you don't need to do big sets and still get to the end of the workout. Yeah, I think you, we got to 18 minutes, well, they got to 18 minutes and they all extended, stopped, of yeah, course, and then yeah. you were like, hey, next yeah, year, we extended, two minutes. I extended them, um, just coaching them, I extended them an extra two minutes just to get a little bit more of the handstand push-up at the end and a little bit more of the head rear deads at the end. So, yeah, yeah this was a tough workout. It was very hamstring pulling dominant middle section was tough and section really sucked i think so. it was the first time my back didn't hurt on a workout for deadlifts i think it's the first time my posterior chain hurt and out my back yeah which is nice yeah for sure that's uh what we've been working on so we already finished Diane. We already finished Diane. 2115 nine. Oh no, we're still doing oh, it. No, Actually, we're still doing Diane. Still so you're finishing nine. the nines. Yeah. yeah, we changed our plates before we came back to the deadlifts. Yep. Um, I actually think you changed one plate, did your hands and push up, and changed the other plate. I changed both. Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah. That's I changed I, my far plate, and then I decided to move my hands and push up and waste more time because yeah. I was like, I don't want to go back to that 315 <laughs> right away. Ever. Right away. So I thought the 15, 12, 9 was probably going to be the hardest part of the workout, Agreed. considering that's 36 muscle ups and 36 deadlifts. I mean, 36 deadlifts at 315 no is a workout by itself. No joke. Not mentioned you're already doing 45 more deadlifts and then nine plus six plus three, so you're looking at 18. Deadlifts at the end at 405. Right. This was, I thought this was the hardest part of the workout, even though the deadlift at 405 sucked too, so. Oh, look who needs to work on actually uh, pushing their butt through. Me? No, me. Oh. We both do. So it's always good to look at film. But it's always good to yeah. It's always good to watch. No, you don't. I think you're fine. I'm talking about me. Um, I I was very. I thought 315 would feel better, and it did not. And it could be just uh, honestly, I didn't. This isn't like a crutch. I didn't really warm up that much on the deadlift. I probably could have did more warm up stuff for the deadlift, but 315 felt heavy towards the middle section, but and it was just rough. So. And then the muscle ups weren't fun. <laughs> <laughs> the muscle ups you're gonna watch are just awful. Yeah. Or just the worst. Yeah. This is a really hard workout to talk for 18 minutes. It is. It's a hard <laughs> to talk about it for sure. But it's, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes we, I mean, we don't do a ton of long workouts just. Because I'm already good at them. You're already pretty, I mean, Jake's already pretty good at them, but every once in a while, like, I did feel like this was a, a very um, open S type workout in a way. I, the, the one exception being that you change your own weights, but the ascending weight and the skill movement, maybe not the deficit handstand push-up, you probably wouldn't see in the open as much, but. I like long workouts, I don't like deadlift workouts. I have been, like you mentioned, I hate deadlift. I, I mean, that's just like 155, and it's like, what's that open workout? It's like deadlift, shoulder overhead, and box jumps. Like, that one was fun. Because it's, it's super like light. 15, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You remember, right? It was, even it was super fast. But, but this was... Hard. This is really hard. I was not a fan. I think on my muscle-ups, I think the first set... I can go, I'll have to go back and count. But I think my first set, I did... I went 8 and 7. You went 8 and 7? I think I went 10 and 5, because I like, I like doing 5, because I know, like, 5 is easy. And then I sat there and contemplated life. <laughs> I knew I was already behind by two muscle ups, so I was like, I gotta get on the rings, but it just was like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I need more time. I can't do it! Time, so, and it just, it all compounded. <laughs> it was hard. It was definitely a hard workout. I did not like this workout. We should have looked at how fast Diane was. I didn't even look at the time. I think it was 2.30 or so. With changing. Um, we're changing your weights. I think, but I think I, I think at two thirty I rounded down because we. I think I changed my weights first, so it was like two thirty, two forty. Ellie's walking past frame. I'm <sighs> contemplating life. I'm thinking I'm gonna quit. I'm just gonna walk away right now. <laughs> right now I'm thinking I'm gonna start when he starts, but I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not. Actually, I'm gonna let him get one whole set in because I am so tired. Let's just hope his twelve muscle ups are worse than his fifteen. Oh, they were. <laughs> they were. It was hard because my hamstrings were 
pretty blown, and my glutes were pretty blown from Diane already. Um, I don't I mean, and, and getting to that middle section of 315, I could just tell, I was like, man, 405 is going to tax me physically, but hung in there. No, yeah. <laughs> hung in there. Yeah, this was so, I, I, I'm actually not, I'm not enjoying doing commentary for this video right now. I'm really not, because I'm watching him thinking, I hate this workout. And I'm like, I don't want people to watch me do terrible at this. Not that I did terrible, but I felt like a load of ish. <laughs> I just felt like a load of trash. And those deadlifts look like trash. Total trash. Well, my muscle ups do too, so it's okay. We all have something. Ellie's just knocking out her middle set, making it look like our first set. Pretty good. So, <laughs> kudos to her. This muscle ups messed her up. All right, so now we're on the 12 muscle ups. Did you go two set or did you one set? I, no, I two set. I thought about one setting. I thought, oh, if I, but I thought, I think I did seven and five. I think I did seven and five. Two. That's a good number. Yeah, well, I think I like, I like, I like ending with five because I always know, oh, five's not bad. Like, I could do five. I definitely felt my biceps a little bit today, though. Uh, I felt blown on the arms today. Well, yeah, because yesterday we did a freaking crap ton of chest bar and toes yeah. bar. I think I went six, three, and three. Just oh, you three-set it. I think I three-setted it, and it was just because I was tired, so my pull was gone. And The funny part is, I think you th if you three-said this, we still started the deadlifts at 350 at the same time. Well, that's the other thing, too. I was like, well, I can give them a look. I mean, I, I felt like I could come back to the deadlift and be okay, and I wasn't, so that was wrong, but I just was, my pull was gone a little bit, which is going to happen. Uh, Blake in the back also is another good scale too. Like he's a teen athlete. We had him go 12, 9, 6 as well on the muscle up. So just did, the muscle ups, not the, the deadlift. Muscle ups, yep, everything else stayed the same. He did a lighter deadlift than we did. Um, he actually went 185, uh, 275, and 325. Wow, that's so, still pretty heavy. Yep, so he was, uh, and I based that off of his percent of his one rep max dead. So basically, um, Kind of what is his one rep max deadlift? 415, okay. I believe. Yeah, you can't so, even do 405. Yeah. Pull for a max! Yeah, pull for a max for 18 reps, no big deal, right? Um, but yeah, so. So I knew Jake already had a good set of at least four or five deads in, which was actually three, now that I look at it. And I knew I had to come back and hit a set of deads, and I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just gonna be hard. So the nice part is, you get off the rings and go straight to the deadlift. You guys watched me before, I got off the rings and stood there and watched Andrew and thought, I don't wanna grab this bar. Right now I'm thinking, my butt hurts, my I, legs hurt. I think I have four left and I think I go three and one, which is sad. <laughs> I think you did. I can't remember you doing three and I'm like, does he have one more? I think I have three and one. Definitely do three here, I think. All right, now we're on 405. Well, no, I've got a set of nine muscle ups left. No, is it? no I did four. Okay, so we're good. I did do far. Yeah. Right. yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Nah, score. Pulled that one out. I think it was the one I did was at 405. But 405 definitely, definitely bumped my CNS up quite a bit. And I think the pairing that I put it with, with the, the, stri the kipping hands and push up, was interesting because you always got back to the deadlift very quickly. Yeah. So there wasn't like a ton of like. It wasn't like you were going to break the deadlift. Right. Nights. Like the muscle ups, I mean, 15, 12, 9 muscle ups, it still was a decent break from the deadlift, like for the most part, this was not. Like it was, could I get back to the deadlift and get on it right away? Cause it's, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was probably the tough part. All right, so we're on nine muscle ups now. And I believe I break five and four. You probably going broken, I'm assuming. Yeah, this yep. will be three. Cause I thought to myself, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew's really good at deadlift. If I get back, if we get back to four over the five at the same time, I will fail. The problem is the middle section blew me up sky high, so it didn't really matter <laughs> what what was on the bar. It could have been anything. It could have went down away. Yeah. It could have been 115. And I would have died, so that's okay. All right, so we're at 405. I think I'm right now I'm contemplating grabbing a belt. Actually, I might be, con I don't know, I might be contemplating just leaving the gym at this point. Who knows? I wasn't going to grab one until I saw Jake grab one, and then I thought I was okay to grab one. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna? Okay, guys. I actually thought he had another set of okay. muscle ups. Okay, okay. I have, I have, I have something to admit. Oh gosh. I, I was done. I think I did all my, I did all my nine muscle ups.
But I decided I was gonna rest next to the rings because I wanted Andrew to think I had muscle ups left. Wow. That way he'd take longer wow. on his muscle up. Wow. wow. I know, guys. That was a, a that was a really it was a really like uh, psychological game I was trying to play. Look at him still wait for me too. <laughs> still still okay, guys. I'm pretty sure I have it. Oh, our clock just completely stopped. That's all right. No, it's okay. At this point. I think I, I wanted wait, to I think be I wait like a minute. I wanted to be a man and just get nine here and, and then just be, just be like, like oh, what's yeah. up, Jake? You and suck. And I just could not. It was it was horrible. It was bad. Three. I think I do four? Maybe? Is it nine? Yeah, yeah it's, it's nine. nine. No, I go five. You that. do five. See, I think I did four. And that was four. like crap. Yeah. I'm behind. I'm behind. And I, I think I go. And I was there a minute before. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I think I do three and two. See, I was like, all right, go get four. I don't think I do four, though. I think I do three and one. Oh, I did two. I think this is where I go three and then I have a single left. Yeah. If you would have won that single. I know. That's where I lose the workout right here. I could have just put it in the rear view mirror right here, but instead I choke. That first pull looks so heavy. Second pull, even heavier. <laughs> Third pull, even heavier yet. I drop it, and I have one left. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, why? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. And I was like, all right. If I stay within you know, a rep, pull it, I'll be okay in the next set. That felt really heavy. <laughs> that, that felt really heavy. It's something about deadlift when, like, for me, if I have to just do one, it's just so much harder. All right, so now we're on nine, deficit eight kips. inch deficit kipping handstand push-ups. Which you and I both kind of sat in the bottom at six. <laughs> I was like, catch him, catch him. And I got to six and I sat in the bottom. <laughs> I was like, I can do it. I can find, I can get to him. Okay, so now we're back at six. I'm thinking, holy crap, that wasted 30 seconds. Now I'm back at 405 deadlifts and I hate myself. I'm sitting in the bottom like, when is he gonna go to the bar? <laughs> I wish I had a timer to show you how much time I spit with my hands on my knees. <laughs> I did that a lot at the head to push up, so. Now I'm thinking, crap, he did that all. He's right behind me and he's gonna grab that bar. <laughs> this is where we separated oh, it and I stunk. I was like, I need to get six, let's go. I just did five. Can I get, just pump out one extra one? But it felt heavy. Yeah, you good pull up the floor. There you go. Two, I hate my life. Dude, I'm cringing watching this. Three. You go, you go four? There you go. Dude. Oh, oh. I think I only go three. Yeah, you went three. Three and three, I think it went. Yeah. I couldn't do three, because I was like, dude, if I have to come back and do three, I'm just going to die. Oh, I want you it. Thought, you thought, thought about it, dude. Thought, You're like, <gasps> no. I was like, maybe that's not going to go. That's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so I've got two left. I got three left. I know he's much better at me in handsome push-ups, so... I'm yeah, already... but it's like only six, like... But still, it's just... But then you're only coming back and do three, and I knew you could do three deadlifts, so like, I was like, oh, crap, I just lost the workout. Dude, if you, like, ran over there, and then I had ran to. back, and then ran back to the wall... I had to, but I was too tired. Oh, I, I knew I lost it right here, and I just caved, so... I knew it was gonna be a struggle. Dude. I'm surprised he, you didn't go right back there and just dude, look at bury me. me right now. No, dude, I was bury the hatchet. Bury it. Dude, how much time I spend on my hands and knees in this workout is pathetic. I thought about running back right here, and I was like, there's no way I can pick this up for three right now. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heaviest three. I was so gassed at this point. My hamstrings were blown. I needed to go, and I couldn't. And I gave it to him. As a coach, I was like, I gotta give him a moral victory. Oh, here we go. <laughs> a moral win. It was heavy. It hurt. It sucked. Blake's over there trying to figure out how to get on this ring. He's in a box. So Jake finished 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000. We'll call it 12 seconds. Oh. I tried. It was good. Those 12 seconds came back to haunt me in the middle section. <laughs> or that one. single deadlift. The single deadlift came back to haunt me. I probably did lose 12 seconds on that one dead. 
Overall, what are your thoughts on the workout, Jake? Uh, overall, what are my thoughts? Um, I am not a fan of that much deadlifting. That much deadlifting. Like, I don't have a problem if it's like 21, 15, 9, but 21, 15, 9, 15, 12, 6, 9, 6, 3, just a lot of deadlifts. If the deadlift is, is 275 or heavier, I do not. I do not like it. I am not a fan. Um, watching this, what are your takeaways? What are my takeaways in this? I was impressed that I could go so. So the open workout, eighteen point four. We had twelve point fifteen nine deadlifts at three fifteen. Two twenty five first. Yeah, then three fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so I didn't even do my 21 15, 9 unbroken for the deadlifts in the open workout. Yeah, so I felt more comfortable doing it here, even knowing I still have a crap ton of deadlifts at 315 and 405. So I felt more comfortable doing 21 15, 9 unbroken. Um, I felt semi decent 315. Uh, the takeaways for deadlift is I need to open up a lot more. Yeah, we both could bring our shoulders back. And yeah, a lot more. It, that was not pretty to watch, nor was it enjoyable to watch. The muscle ups felt fine. I don't think I can improve there. Like, I considered going 15 unbroken, but the amount of time I might have saved, if I'd have gone unbroken in 15, the amount of time I would have wasted would have been terrible. Yeah. Um, handstand push ups are fine. I didn't like watching the amount of time I spent with my hands on my knees. Now I know I'm tired. Um,. This workout honestly ravaged me. I felt completely broken. Yeah. What about you? Pretty much the same. I think I, I messed up on you know a few sets that I should have hung in there a little bit longer. My muscle ups did not feel good today. We just We did a lot yesterday night. It didn't feel great, so I just did what I could and managed my sets. Um, overall, it was just hard. That was, was a hard really workout. hard. Um, for those of you wondering, like, how would I scale this even more for some of you guys? I would probably tell you guys to use a, a percentage of your deadlift. So maybe go 50%, 60%, 70%, or 50, 65, 80, somewhere in there, where you guys could have uh, at least a shot at the end where, you know, the last 963, you're not like pulling singles because it's so, so heavy and, mm -hmm. and really bad. So, like, that would be a good way to do it. I mean, 50% of just call it 500 is 225. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty spot that's on. Pretty I think it's five pounds heavier than my max. So that's so, pretty, pretty yeah, so, spot on. I mean, that's bar. probably pretty good. 50%, 65, and 80 would be a probably good three jumps that you would make on that. Yeah. Um, you can sub up, you can scale the ring muscle up numbers like I did for my teen athletes, uh, or you could go chest of bar pull ups. You could do that for the 15, 12, 9 if you're still working on that and you can't get muscle ups. You can do regular pull-ups, right? Different types of scaling on the pulling on that. We just, just I just had him do a, a higher skill movement, uh, such as ring muscle-ups. Yeah. So, cool. uh, different ways to scale that. And then obviously the handstand push-up, you can scale to a box pike push-up. You can scale to uh, like a low ring push-up. You know, deficit regular push-up, hand release push-up, all different types of scaling yes. on the push-ups there. So, just make it uh, make it what you can do. Shrimp Creole, shrimp sandwiches. Shrimp, you can gumbo, saute it, fillet it, <laughs> barbecue it. That's that's pretty much it. That's all you buy, all you can do with shrimp. Yeah. All right, guys, we appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll be continuing these, and uh, yeah, let's. I think it's more enjoyable than just like music. <laughs> <laughs> they already said it was. That's good. So, but I'm glad you're just pointing it out. Right, cool. <laughs> cool. We'll see you guys later. See Thanks. You guys.